darlings welcome back to my channel it's me Kagam okay you guys I've got another video for you guys today about Cartier I promise I will stop talking about Cartier very soon I'm worried that I'm like getting kind of boring and stuff I'm sorry that's like so hot in here I had to turn on the AC so basically I was like um basically the kind of inspiration <laughs> <laughs> behind this video um, is because like I had a really bad experience at the jeweler a few weeks ago um, I went with my husband to cut to get my engagement ring cleaned and my wedding band and there was like an issue and I went in there with him and stuff and they were like really really nice to him but they basically just ignored me and I was like asking questions about you know I was like oh do you guys make morganite rings and he's like no we only do tanzanite and diamonds I'm like well can you make morganite um or can you make a morganite ring um because for some reason I'm like obsessed with pear rings at the moment and I hate pear rings I hate the pear shape it's so weird because I've always hated the pair, but now I love it. So I've been looking on Pinterest pair rings all the time. Anywho, he was just kind of like blanking me <laughs> and like pushing me to the side, like, Bit, please, like no one's interested in, you know, serving you. But I'm there with my husband and it's obvious and my husband clearly cares like what I want and he wants to make me happy. And I was just kind of like being ignored. So I was like, okay, cool, like no problem. Like I definitely, when I'm ready to make this purchase, I definitely will not be buying it from you. So that got me thinking about like, the treatment of customers in luxury boutiques and luxury stores. And then obviously, as usual, Cartier comes to mind. It's hit and miss. Many people constantly complaining that Cartier treats them really badly. And one of the like, but like kind of like centers of contention is the Cartier Champagne, the famed mythical Cartier Champagne. It's almost like, you know, the Greek gods, like, you know, Zeus, and all of the rest of them and Poseidon, like these mythical um, creatures and these mythical entities that we all hear about, but no one has seen. And I think what's so crazy to me is that the Cartier Champagne is like mythical at this point. Everyone is like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like I want the champagne. It's said to be for the best Cartier clients, but no one has received it. So on the past blog, someone was complaining, saying how they had gone to the Cartier boutique. I think it is a boutique somewhere in the US and they were so excited. They heard about the champagne being offered for anyone who goes with their fiance to try on engagement rings. So they were like super excited, like, yes, okay, I'm gonna get a sip of the champagne. And then the essay was like, ah! no and did not offer them any champagne so the question here is is that right is that wrong how do you guys feel about that and what do we think make sure you keep watching and i'm going to give you my take on it in just a moment one of the craziest things basically is that i think that customers who are good clients should be offered the champagne there is no doubt about it that she should have been offered the champagne but something i didn't like about something this particular person said on the past forum was like well i went back there with my man and <laughs> You know, I demanded to try the champagne and another fitting. And I just feel like that makes you look like desperate, you know, it makes you look like you're really desperate and you're really thirsty and you're, you're just like begging and begging and begging. Um, that's just um, something that I feel. And I don't really like the idea of like you begging a company for attention. At the end of the day, it's a company. They have goods, they have stock, they have inventory just to use, to use business parlance here. Of course, they want you to buy, but at the end of the day, like a huge brand like Cartier, seven k, seven thousand dollars, which is what this particular client said that she spent on the ring, that is a drop in the ocean for them. That doesn't mean that you're not valuable. You're absolutely valuable, whether you buy the Cartier perfume or you're buying fine jewelry. But there are tiers to clients. There are VIPs. There are VVIPs. That's like something else as well that's going on at the moment. There are people who buy a lot. There are people who buy every now and then, and then there are people who are coming in for a once in a lifetime thing like an engagement ring or a wedding band so i think like the problem is like the cartier champagne we've all heard about it it's absolutely crazy it's said to be like you know like just you know amazing apparently it's very tasty it's like all over instagram if you follow a lot of luxury instagram um pay pages but it is not offered to everyone and first of all it's not sold you can't buy it you know it is gifted and it's up to the discretion of that essay it's not even the manager so you can't even be like hey i want to speak to the manager like i want you to pour me a glass of champagne you're gonna look like a 
numpty and you're going to look very like silly in the boutique kind of looking desperate and thirsty i think it's really important as like clients and people who love these brands like don't be too desperate to like have something you know if you're meant to have it you're going to be offered it if you're not offered it that doesn't mean that you're not a good client and that doesn't mean that your business isn't wanted that just means that the essay maybe it didn't click with you maybe it didn't vibe with you maybe didn't want to give it to you or maybe they didn't have any in that particular boutique maybe they didn't have any in stock maybe it just finished it's just crazy how we as customers and we are the ones they should be begging us but we are the ones who are like begging for their attention and we want them to offer us all this stuff and we want them to be like oh my gosh let me give you know kagam like cartier champagne whatever of course it's an honor to be given it but it is not going to define you or be like <laughs> the make or break or whatever there's a really interesting article um, from Yahoo Life that I'll post in the description below. They talk about the Cartier, the famed mythical Cartier Champagne. <laughs> they talk about how it's offered to every single person who is engaged. And then this is obviously contradicted by the woman's experience in the bus forum because she's engaged and she got blanked. And then they talk about the Tiffany experience as well and how if you're a good client at Tiffany, you get Tiffany cupcakes, which are really beautiful. These luxury brands, like they are kings and queens of marketing. They know what to do to capture our attention. As far as I know, based on my research that I've done, the Cartier Champagne is, is created by them. They have their own vineyard that makes the champagne. It is absolutely not sold. Um, there are a few companies I think are taking advantage of this and writing like brut. Um, Cuvée, Cartier, whatever. That is not the Cartier Champagne. You cannot buy it online. You cannot purchase it in an alcohol shop, in an off-license. It is not for sale. You can only get it at Cartier if it is gifted by the SA who is serving you. So at the end of the day, the SAs are going to look and see, and at this point in the game, a lot of them just kind of know like who a client is and who is not a client. So if you're a client, they, they just kind of know. And I know that sounds like such an annoying thing to say, like, oh, that person isn't psychic. How, how do they know I'm going to buy or not? As someone who I own my own boutique, I have my, my own digital marketing business now. I have a lot of experience in the e-commerce space. I know a lot about retail and shopping. The biggest thing I've noticed is like a lot of the times, the best clients, the people who spend money, on like high-end or expensive consumer products those people who spend that and then come again and spend and then come again and spend they have a very detectable like customer shopping profile you know they, they're gonna be people at Cartier who segment their customer base they know who their customers are and then the, the essays are told by the head office like these are the types of people that are going to get the Cartier champagne don't just give it to someone who's rocked up there with their friends <laughs> <laughs> with a vlogging camera and isn't buying anything. That doesn't mean you're not valued, but you're probably not going to get the champagne if you're not buying anything. And I think that's a fair, I think that's fair enough. I don't feel like that's unfair. This particular client was buying something and still got blanked. I can't explain that. I don't know if I think it's fair. I just think that um, as people who are into these luxury brands, don't like have it be such like a massive part of like your identity. You still have to have your other stuff going on. And that's why I've always like, one of you asked me the other day, like, do I do YouTube full time? No, I don't do YouTube full time. You know, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a businesswoman. I have other things that I do. I'm also really into like other things that have nothing to do with luxury and have nothing to do with shopping. And one reason is because I think sometimes like you can kind of get you can kind of fall into this trap of like following this stuff a lot if you don't have other things to do so i'm not like slagging off that person no i think they're within their right to feel a little bit kind of like oh my gosh well i'm here with like with my boo and i didn't get offered the champagne kind of see like where they're coming from but i think what i'm saying is it is so dependent on if the essay likes you and if you vibe with the essay maybe you'd get attention in dolce and gabbana and fendi but maybe got Blankton Cartier. I think that the Cartier boutiques around the world, based on the Google reviews I've read, I've seen the Cartier boutique at, on Fifth Avenue. 
I've heard mixed reviews about that particular location. I think a lot of this just depends on if the SA likes you, if the SA vibes with you, if the SA thinks you have money. One jewelry um, company that constantly is getting killed online for treating customers badly is Harry Winston, which is a shame. I've heard about Harry Winston. I've heard that it's amazing. And people are always complaining about this place. But then at the same time, I'm just like, imagine the amounts of people that go in there to try on rings and don't buy. Uh, you know, it, it's a tough situation. So in terms of the champagne, I just think that if you're someone who likes this stuff, you probably will get offered. I think if you make a relationship um, with an essay at Cartier, maybe you've purchased some Cartier perfume before, maybe you want to buy a love ring, I do think you can just drop it in as a joke, like, ah, bit. how come I haven't been offered a glass of champagne? I think when you make it like gentle and it's like a joke and there's a bit of like, like it's jovial, that is when I think things happen. But if you're like, okay, I'm coming here with my boo, I want you to give me the Cartier, like champagne, when we come here for our next wedding. I just feel like that comes across just like a bit too over aggressive. And it's so funny to me that so many people want to try this champagne because as someone like someone like me, I actually really like champagne. My husband and I were talking about this the other day. I actually really like champagne. I love how it is. I love how it tastes. I love Krug, I love Perrier Jouet, Moet, um, and Dom P. So I'm just kind of like, okay, it would be cool to drink the Cartier champagne, but I don't know if I want to spend thousands of pounds of dollars buying jewelry just so I can drink Cartier champagne when I can drink Krug, which is amazing and is basically the best champagne in the world. So yeah, I mean, that's just like one of my views on the whole thing. Ultimately, guys, luxury brands, luxury stores, they know how to get our attention. Cause you know what they're doing by only gifting this thing. If it was like to be sold, people wouldn't like care as much. But the fact that it's like, ah, only you can get it if you're cool. If you sit here, you can get it. If you're not cool, you don't get it. So for me, it's just like, I am not gonna fall for the marketing because I'm someone who works in marketing. I know how this works. I refuse to fall for it. I'm just sharing it with you, telling you guys the details. So maybe if you go to the boutique next time, I don't think that you have to be buying the like fine jewelry to get offered it because there was someone else who was like, okay, I went in there and I bought a perfume. And I think, I think they bought one of the leather goods from Cartier and they got offered a glass of champagne. I think a lot of this is on your demeanor. It's based on your demeanor. It's based on the way you're dressed. And it's based if the essay likes you. It's unfair, but it is what it is. And from my experiences when I was running my boutique, some of the best high paying clients, like the top spenders, the top spenders, it's very clear when someone is a spender and someone is a shopper and is someone who likes to spend money and not someone who's just talking or window shopping. From my experience, when I was running my boutique, which was like beauty boutique, is that the people who spend money um, are very straight. They're very serious. They're just, they come into the shop. They're like, cool, I want this, 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 this. Okay, can we have your email so we can keep you up to date? Can we send you some offers? Yeah, please do that. Um, just contact me on this day because I'm really busy at work or I'm busy at home with my kids. It's very clear when someone is a spender. So I think that essays basically are just like, who, who, bit, which one here is going to be buying basically? And I think it's unfair. I think there is some bias. As a black woman, I'm very aware that there'll be certain Cartier boutiques in the world where I will be judged based on the color of my skin. You know, I didn't like the way that jeweler kind of flipped me off and just kind of fobbed me off when I asked about the Morganite. Um, but at the same time, I was like, cool, you're lost. Like, little do you know that I actually have a YouTube channel where I talk about luxury shopping, I talk about jewelry brands, I talk about shopping. So maybe you should have been a little bit more nice to me, but I'm not gonna take it personally because I also understand as someone who's an entrepreneur that people just go based off the way they feel about you. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about the Cartier Champagne thing. Do you think they should offer it to everyone? Do you think that it's unfair that she spent $7,000 with her boo on engagement rings and they went off it? I mean, what do you guys think? Like her, her man spent $7,000, that's not chump change, that's a lot of money, but they still didn't get off the champagne. Is she right to be upset? Is she not? You know what to do, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I do videos twice a week. And yeah, I'll just be really happy if you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. And I'll see you in my next video.